Welcome back, boys and girls, to Dyson Sphere Program in the Dark Fog Polaris series here on YouTube. Today we are on this beautiful little planet of uh, Adibana 2. This is in the system that we have our Dyson Sphere actually being built. You can see it in the background there. It looks quite spectacular. But we are going to set this planet up as a manufacturer of high-purity silicon. Because we've been needing more high-purity silicon. And so I'm going to set this up to get silicon ore. I'm going to uh, remote supply that. I'm going to local demand it, though. And we're going to go ahead and set this up to start getting... We're going to set this up to start getting the, uh, the stuff up here that we need. So let's go ahead and extend out here first. And we'll get one of our nice fancy... Uh, one of our fancy little, uh, there we go, one of those. And that should, do I have robots in here? I do have robots in there. Okay, so that's gonna just start taking it back there for us. And then let's find out where there's some more silicon here. Let's look at our map here. We got some more silicon. Okay, there's more silicon just kind of right down this side of the map. So let's go ahead, just kind of continue this down over here. Get another mining machine over here. And then we'll set up production here for the high purity silicon and we will ship that off world back to the home world where we've been we've been running kind of shy on it a couple of times. So all right, we got all 23 reserves there. That's great news. Um I might actually mine some of this other stuff too. What else does this what else does this planet have on it? It's got 20, yeah, you know, it doesn't really have a lot else, stone and coal, but it's mainly the silicon ore here that's really good. Um, actually, do I want to send this out anywhere? I don't think I want to send this anywhere. I'm just gonna have it, uh, I'm just gonna have it remote, remote storage. I'm not gonna actually have it send it anywhere. Because then we can just, we can just turn it all into high purity silicon and send it home that way. I don't want it to be sending it home in any other form than the high purity silicon, so. All right, and uh, let's go ahead and get this one. There's all 21 veins there. There's all 22 veins there. We just need to get power to it. There we go. And I'm going to put out a couple of protections down here. Just in case the bad guys ever come back. It's always good to have some of these out. That way, these, basically, these signal towers allow these missiles to fire anywhere on the planet. So, basically, the missiles will fire from there at anything that comes within the range of that signal tower. All right, so now that we got that down, let's go ahead and get a production line here. First, we need to set this to high-purity silicon, remote supply. And then let's go ahead and bring the... Mineral depleted. Mineral depleted. Now let's bring this up and over and then down on this side. There we go. We'll bring it around that way. It's going to make a nice big line and we'll have this basically just circle the entire... Now, I'm not sure if, this, if there's going to be enough silicon on it on one pass here to get it all the way around, but that's neither here nor now. There 
There we go. Oh, that didn't work. Let's go ahead and put that closer to there. There we are. There we go. Now, now the balloons go up. Everything's working again. We destroyed our own uh, production there for a second. All right. So there's that line there. So the the so that's all coming out. That's all. That's all good there. They're they're coming out at eights. So that's really nice. Let's go ahead and get down some of. Is it these? I think it's these. Yes, high purity silicon. There we go. Let's get those down. Let's go ahead and we just need to get some power out here to this stuff. Kind of bring these around and just kind of power everything out here. But one in here just just for good measure. There we go. So that should that should keep everything that should power everything out here that we want. And then we do need to build a. We do need to build. Well, that went straight up and straight back down. Okay, interesting. All right, so we do need to build a an, a output line here. Okay, so that's too that's too close in. That's too close into. God dang it. So what happens when you don't measure? You should measure once and There we go. Okay. And put you out there. This one's probably this one's probably too close as well. Yep, just just in just a little bit. Yeah, I should have laid I should have laid this down before I put the power down. But that's okay. You learn from your mistakes and you correct them and you don't do it again. That's the most important thing. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again, then you kind of have a problem, but you know what? We'll take this back in That way. Oops, nope. There we go. Okay. All right. So our research, uh, we researched better ores. So a six percent uh, minus six percent ore loss per mining operation, more mining speed, plus four percent item from debris. And we are on another. We're doing another veins utilization after that. So we have several veins utilizations going on. Put that down there. you there put you there I'm basically just consolidating the power here a little bit more there we go that ring of power out there nice okay so let's go ahead and bring you Mineral depleted. A landing relay station detected. Really? Where's that being detected at? Because we got to go take care of that. All right, so that's going to come in there. Wow, that's a wacky, that's a wackadoo thing. Curb one, huh? Okay, so there there must be a yeah we got to go over there and take care of that. There must be a a presence there in curb because I think that I think we had one of those last episode as well. All right, so let's go ahead and copy paste. I 
probably have to bring some more, uh... Probably have to bring some more, uh... Um... Out to satisfy this, because I don't think these are gonna get... I don't think these are gonna get the, uh... The silicon ore that they need, because I don't think it's gonna make it down this far. So let's see where the silicon ore is making it to. And then we're gonna cut the cut the line over here and we'll bring some more silicon out on this side. Because the silicon is having the silicon is not the issue. We have plenty of silicon. There we go. That'll get built up there. And this should feed this entire line over here. And there we go. All right, so whoa, look, look at look at that ginormous, look at the ginormous Dyson Sphere that's in the background there. Look at that, oh my God, that's just gorgeous. Okay, so we got, yeah, we got those building up there. We got that coming in. We got those going out. I think we're good here. I think we have to go take care of curb one. I think that's that's what we need to do is get our get our stuff on curb one taken care of, and possibly in the curb system. It seems like it seems like they are trying to invade Kerr big time. I don't see where their their station is here. They got they got the uh and yeah, they got a station going in there, but I don't see where the I don't see where the home the home is. But we're gonna go back over to Curb. We're gonna knock that down real quick. While we're flying here. We can definitely go into here and see if we need some more warpers, which it looks like we do. Get a little more antimatter in there. There we go. Perfect. Okay. We got that going on. And then let's go ahead and zoom out and see what we have for other seeds that might be trying to invade. No, it doesn't look like there's any other seeds out there right now. Yeah, I think I think we're good on seeds. Yeah, look at all the activity going between Polaris and all these places here. Canon Vectorum. Yeah, I like it. You can sort of see the ships going between Dibna. See the ships going between those there as well. Yeah, we'll go take care of this issue on curb one real quick, and uh, then we'll then we'll get back to uh, we'll get back to our uh, previously scheduled broadcast of trying to take care of other business. Yeah, without without the where are all these minerals being depleted at? Polaris one, okay. A lot of our, a lot of our Polaris minerals are going to be running out soon because we've been drawing on them since the very beginning of the game. Um, so we're going to have to, we're going to have to make sure that we have enough coming in from other places in the universe, which I believe we do. I believe we do have them coming in from other places. So I'm not, not extremely concerned about it, but definitely something to always keep in mind that you can go ahead and add more, you know, sort of backup sources of resources backup sources of resources backup resources in other places that will be sent to your home system when that when that stuff does run out warp engine deactivated cruise ended flight mode i don't even know where this thing is at Base core destroyed. All right. Mineral depleted. 
We'll just cap that. There we go. Connect it up. Went down another defense platform here. There we are. All right. So. Oh, and there's another one. Oh, no, is that? Oh, that's me. That's my stuff. Okay. Now, I should be able to see where that thing is going to. Yeah, I'm curious where that's going to. Warp engine activated. Warp engine deactivated. going to, sucker. Okay, we got him. Maybe that'll keep Curb safe. That he may have been going back. Oh, there's a dark. Okay, so there's a fo there's a core here somewhere. Warp engine activated. Warp engine deactivated. These things are usually so small they're very hard to see. That's why that's why they keep coming back. That's it right there. There we go. We got it. Yep, that was that was the final piece in there. That's why they kept sending stuff to curb because we hadn't destroyed the that last little tiny that last little nubbin made it so that it couldn't uh, that that it wasn't going to be. Uh, wow, that's a that's a very bright star. What's the luminosity on that? Two point four nine five. Wow, that's a good luminosity. That's a really good luminosity, actually. Look at all the resources in this in this system too. Uh, we have collection planned on all of this: stone, coal, titanium, silicon, iron, kimberlite, fractal, grading crystal, sulfuric acid. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff in the curb system going on. All right, so we took care of the th we we eliminated the threat in the curb system. Mineral depleted. Really. All right, let's go back. Let's go back home to the polar system. We need to check up on something. 
actually let's go let's go to this system here we got we got stuff in this system right yeah it looks like we have stuff out here on this planet here Spica, Spica 3. We're just going to go check on Spica 3 and see what we got going on there. We can also look in here on the production and we can see in Spica... Where are you, Spica? Spica 3. Looks like we are taking resources off that planet like silicon, kimberlite, grading crystal, diamonds. Oh, well, we got diamonds exporting from Spica. Okay. Well, we'll check out Spica 3 here and see what else we got in that system. Maybe there's some, maybe there's a few more items that we want to mine or Mental, exploit in that place. More stuff on Polaris 1. Yeah, we got a we got a lot of stuff on Polaris 1 that's running out. Mineral depleted. That's Spica 3 as well. Okay, so there's a couple things on Spica 3 that have run out. So we'll go grab those. We'll make sure we get those uh, decommissioned because those are just mining facilities costing us energy and they'd be better used elsewhere. The rest of the universe the rest of the universe bending around us as we warp. Warp engine deactivated. Ended. Flight mode. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff on this planet. Okay. We've got 200,000 grading crystal there. Lots of iron here. Yeah, our, our, our collection, we, we only have 200,000 more grading crystal here, so... Grading Crystal is going to be running out pretty soon in this system. And, uh... Yeah, there's not much else there. There's some Fractal Silicon. A lot of Titanium ore in this system. I wonder who has all the Titanium. Is it... Oh, it's, it's Spica 2. Spica 2 has all the Titanium. We're on this one here. It's a little Titanium here, but there's a lot of Titanium on that planet. Not much else. There's fire ice and fractal silicon. We could do titanium and fire ice on that planet. Oh, we are mining all the titanium on this planet. Interesting. We got a lot of iron mined on this planet. A little titanium there. A little coal there. There's some titanium veins there. Oh, we do, we are making diamonds here as well. Okay, interesting. And this is full. That's full of titanium and fire ice. So we don't need really any more titanium or fire ice. We got tons of that. So, so yeah, that's going to run out. The grading crystal is going to run out pretty damn soon. Yeah, the grading crystal, we're, we're getting it in there. Uh, you know what we could do? Is I could go to this this factory here and we could just ramp this up to 300% production. It's just going to it's just going to pump them out a lot faster. It takes more energy to do that, but it will pump it out faster for us. I think I'm going to trail these down here. We're going to go ahead and put you there. And then we'll go ahead and bring you... Might as well grab these last few reserves down here. Come 
Might as well. We can grab 23 with that, and then we can put a little baby miner in here, like I always do. Capture the last little part of that. There we go. And then let's go ahead and get another got a little iron deposit down this way. Oh, that didn't work. A little iron deposit down here. We'll go capture. Eighteen iron veins, one point two seven million iron. Then we'll build a little defense backwards. Mineral depleted. Yeah, Canon Vectorum's losing a lot of its minerals, so we will have to keep an eye on that. I don't think I have anybody taking coal off this planet, do I? Nope, we got all that going off the planet. Got diamonds going off the planet. You know what? I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm just going to run a line of... We're just going to run a line out of here of warpers. Bring that straight over to here. There we go. That'll just that'll just keep that filled with that, and we can go ahead and put coal in there and local demand. And that'll start filling that up with coal. Depleted. Where else? Uh Canon Victorum 3. Yeah, Canon Victorum 3 is losing a lot of its minerals. So I say I say we head over to Canon Victorum 3 now that we figured this all out. Now, Canon Victorum, we have been mining the heck out of that since early game. That's mainly because that was one of the earliest planets that we went to. Flight mode. Cruise mode. And so yeah, that's one that's one that we uh we definitely uh are gonna be uh shutting down a lot of facilities on soon. I think we've got probably in the last few episodes at least five to twelve notices that Canon Victorum has uh, 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 been losing stuff. And I know I'm saying it wrong. I know it's Canum Venetacorum. But yeah, I'm, I'm bad at saying that. I might as well just be saying Canum Vatican. Warp engine deactivated. Cruise ended. Flight mode. All right, so that one's empty. Looks like you guys are still up and running. Just kind of cruise around the planet here, see who's empty, who's full. It's got stone on it still. All right, you're all good. I think I think it might be Canon Vectorum one that we have stuff on. Okay, so there is a collection planned on all that. All right, let's go over. Let's go over to the other one. That's where we're having our proliferator paint be made. Go check out this one here. Mineral depleted. Warp engine deactivated. Mineral depleted. Cruise ended. All 
All right, you're done. Let's just check out the other orbs. We'll go around the middle first. Oh yeah, there's one right there that's done as well. That one's low. Yeah, we mined the heck out of this planet. This was a great planet to find, too, because it had a lot of good resources on it for us. Had some oil, has a good oil, it has a good oil reserves, if I remember right, as well. Yeah, crude oil, 28.18 per second. It had some very powerful oil reserves on it. These ones are starting to wear down. Good thing is we aren't needing as much oil as we needed in the beginning. We needed a lot more oil in the beginning than we need now, so... You can also tell it's an early planet because look at all the wind turbines we have on it. Lots and lots of wind turbines. All right, so you got you got no oil going out of here, do you? What about you? What do you got going on? All right, so you got that all going out. How about titanium? Yeah, titanium's almost gone from this planet. Yeah, this planet's getting pretty low. This planet had a lot of coal on it. That's why we set up our production of... That's why we set up our production of proliferator paint here. Because we had lots of coal here. So, we, we do have coal coming in from other places, so that's good. It looks like this is full of proliferator paint, so we're obviously not... We're not having trouble with proliferator paint, which is good. Yeah, those are those are low. Kind of see how the rest of the planet's doing here. I saw some yellow dots over here. I was wondering what that was. Oh, it's probably just the blue pearl. I think these were full. And then, the, then a load of proliferator paint went out of here, and, and uh, yeah, it looks like that's what it is. Yep, those were full for a bit, and then the proliferator paint freed it up. Oh, it also looks like maybe the green, we might be running out of green proliferator paint. That might be a problem, too. We might be running out of green proliferator paint, although... That might just be a temporary issue. That might be something where when this gets filled up with proliferator paint, which it looks like it's going to do here in a second, the proliferators will stop being made. And so this will start filling up again. It looks like the orange is having no problem keeping up at all. It looks like when the process fires up every once in a while, it, uh, it temporarily empties this out and then it will fill back up when once we're not putting proliferate paint in it. Well, but it looks like we're taking proliferate. We did proliferate a lot more stuff. Proliferator paint is a very hard word to say. These take yellow and diamonds. And, um... We have diamonds aplenty. And we do have yellow somewhat aplenty. I probably, I might be able to build more proliferator, green proliferator paint out here. Because we are proliferating a lot more stuff, so we probably need to keep an eye on that. And make sure that we get enough proliferator paint around to keep everything going. We do have spin form coming in here as well. We're using up a lot of spin form though. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that too. Because that will eventually get used up, and that we need to make carbon nanotubes. We have a lot of carbon nanotubes, but um, yeah, I might want to make I might want to make some more green proliferator paint here. But you know what? We're gonna have to do that next time because we're at the end of our episode today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you did enjoy this one, don't forget to hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and we will pick you. We'll pick up directly here next time uh, for Dyson Sphere program. 
the Dark Fog series here on YouTube.